The basics of editing. In this video, we'll talk about the basics of building course content within Canvas. So the first thing you need to do is go to the dashboard, click on the correct course, and then you'll see the template that's preloaded as follows. So by and large, most of you will not have to add any pages or anything else to this template because there's already spaces that are built in for you to put content into. However, you can add additional content. So let me first walk you through what I think most of you will do and then some additional things that you could potentially add on to it. So first, when you come into week one, you'll see a module. You'll see one for every single week of the term. So in week one, first thing you wanna do is click the to-do list. Then when you get to this page, click the edit icon on the upper right. That's how you edit any page within Canvas. That's gonna bring up the text editor. So in this box, simply type a list of all the tasks students need to complete in that particular week. This could include textbook readings, whatever else they need to do. Once you're done with that, make sure to delete these instructions and then scroll down and click save. That will save whatever you just typed. Now return back to the home screen. That's gonna return you to the module view. Now click the lesson section. So as we'll discuss later in this training, the lesson section is where you're going to upload your instructional content. Same as before, to upload your PowerPoints or to type in your lecture notes or anything else you want to post in here, click the edit icon on the upper right. That's again going to bring up the text editor. So one of the options here is view this PowerPoint. So if you have a PowerPoint presentation, you want to upload it here. What you're going to do is you're going to click the cursor right next to the colon. Then on the right hand side, you'll see a link that says files. Go ahead and click on that. Then you'll see a link that says upload a new file. Click on upload a new file and then click choose file right below it. You'll then get a file browser and then you can select the PowerPoint file that's on your drive and then click upload and that's gonna create a link right here where students can click to download that file. Additionally, you can also copy and paste content that you have loaded into a Microsoft Word document. Paste it right in here. You can also copy and paste website URLs, and you can also embed YouTube link videos as well. Now keep in mind, Canvas has a neat feature where if you simply copy and paste the YouTube URL, it'll automatically populate as a little video preview box. Once you're set with this, go ahead and click save, and then you'll see the page as it appears. Then click home. Now scroll down. You'll do the same exact thing for discussion because the details of these are covered later in this training, so I don't need to cover them here, but it's the same exact process. You only need to pick one connection item, by the way, but I'm just mentioning it here. Finally, you have your tasks, where you're gonna create your assignments. Now, again, like later in this training, I'm going to explain, by default, we've loaded in a file upload style assignment into each module, and the reason for that is because that's the most popular type of assignment. So, how do you edit that to make it customized for your course. Click on the title of the file upload style assignment, and then click the edit icon on the upper right. You'll notice a trend here. Any page in Canvas you wanna edit it, you click edit. Then on the next page, the main box here is going to be used to type in directions for that assignment. So once you've done that, and you've deleted these instructions at the top, scroll down. Over here you can assign a point value and if you're using the grading by weights scheme and you've created assignment groups, you can also categorize that here. You can also choose what type of submission you wanna make it. So like I said earlier, we've already configured this for you as a file upload assignment because of how popular that is among instructors. Scroll down, if you would like to use plagiarism check, you've got a drop down here to enable that. And then finally, this is very important. This due date box needs to be completed. You can click the calendar link right here and select the appropriate day and time. And then the available from and until dates represent from when students can begin to upload content and when they can finish uploading content. So in other words, if the due date is Thursday, you can actually set the until date till Sunday if you wanna accept late submissions for those Saturday and Sunday days as well as Friday. When you're done with that, click save. And you'll see that your assignment has been updated. Go ahead and click home now. 
Now, keep in mind that even though this is the template that I think most of you will be using, if you want, you can add additional pages here if you think it is necessary. For example, if under content you want to add an additional row, the way you would do that is you would click this plus icon on the top right. When you do that, click this drop down next to add and select whatever item you would like. So if it's purely content that you want to load in, I recommend clicking page. You can also choose to add a file if you want, and you can upload a PowerPoint file this way as well. I'm going to cancel out of this since I don't want to add anything. Now, we'll talk about this a little later as well, but if you want to add a quiz or an online assessment, you once again click the plus icon, except here where it says drop down, you go to quiz, and you click new quiz. And where it says quiz name, type in the name of the quiz. So this could be um, chapter one quiz, possibly. So let me type that in here, and then click add item. So now you'll see that it pops up underneath tasks. We'll have a separate video in this training that goes over how to customize the quiz builder, but I just want to give you a basic overview on how editing in Canvas works. Now, let's say you finish building your course. Remember, you only have to use one of these connection items and one you know, assignment task or you know, whatever you're deciding to use. There's going to be unused items in here. So what I recommend is instead of deleting them, simply leave those rows unpublished because students will not be able to see them. That saves you a lot of time and it makes it easier if you ever decide to transfer this to a new semester or what have you.